Hi guys, welcome back. This is one of my favorite videos of the entire year and it has become an annual tradition on this channel. We are at Mardell's to look at all of the homeschool curriculum. I love having the opportunity to actually touch the curriculum, flip through it, see what it is and how it's gonna work for me and my children. And I can't wait to share that with you and give you a peek at all the different curriculums in case you're torn between a few. I think I've decided that we are kind of eclectic <laughs> homeschoolers. We have a little bit of this, a little bit of that because that is just the best fit for us. And this is the store that has probably made me an eclectic homeschooler. <laughs> I have my little one in tote with me this year. She's fallen asleep. So this should be interesting, but hopefully she is happy to go with me in here. I think she will be when she wakes up. Are you awake? Are you ready to go shopping with mommy? You can take your blankies too. Yes. So we've dropped off my other children at Summer Bash, which is what we do each year. It's our church kind of vacation Bible school. And I have like five hours to do this. So I'm excited. Let's go do it. When you first come into Mardell's, they have a lot of home decor, much like Hobby Lobby, and an entire clearance section, which I am scanning quickly. A few interesting things, but nothing I need. Can I get that bottle of me? You like that bottle? It's my bottle for Oh, I don't know that we need that pumpkin. Please. I love this fall coloring book. It's such a nice thing to keep little hands busy this fall while I read out loud to them for school. Love things like this. That little adventure with books book is perfect for a preschooler or a kindergartner. I've used it before, it's precious. Down here is our father's world. And this says exploring a medicine exploring the history of medicine. If you have a child who is interested in becoming a doctor one day, this would be fantastic to study. It looks like it's for an older child, but how interesting. Science detective. I always love things like this, just little science experiments you can do with your children, little bite-sized lessons, a good family kind of thing. This is good. Little daily activities. Very manageable. <laughs> I know for me in our homeschool, I don't really want a huge science curriculum. I want something very simply put that we can put do as a family and do all of the fun experiments and talk about. This is great for that. I like this. And it's a good price. The Story of Liberty. Let's flip through this one. Thank you for shopping at Have a great day. Map work. The Missouri Compromise. I like how this is broken up. This is very manageable as well. Again, I love it when books are just clear and they're broken up into those bite-sized pieces that we can do daily. This looks like something we can handle. A good book. The Story of Liberty. $24. Memoria Press. The Book of Insects. That's fun. The Scarlet Letter, a book study. I love all of the good book studies. Biographies of the Revolution, King Arthur of the Round Table. I want to do this book study with my children. We have not done this yet, but it is on my list. In fact, this might actually be good for us this semester. I think I might put that on my list. The Long Way to a New Land. Sounds like a really good book to do around Thanksgiving. The Fight for Freedom, The Renaissance World timelines a bunch of really good books yes my love okay well we'll go there in a minute okay still studying um the medieval times currently 
We take our time as we go through history and we have finished our book one. We'll be doing book two of Master Books History this semester. This might be an interesting read for one of my older children. Timelines, I love a good timeline. <laughs> Memoria Press, a composition book. This is nice, I like how you write something, draw something, all the different topics. This is nice, I like, again, a good timeline where you write about it, draw about it. Composition and sketchbook. Very interesting table of contents. This is, I so easily could buy my children way too many books <laughs> and overwhelm them because I like all of the things affordable. Swiss Family Robinson book study, spelling book. Great for a kindergartner. I always love the way the Rod and Staff books look. They are so classic and simple and reusable. They're not consumable, which is nice. Telling God's story. Writing. Punctuation, grammar, important things, spelling. I like these spelling books. We have used these and they're just really that traditional, what I'm used to kind of school book and I enjoy them and so do my children. Writing strands, a lot of homeschooling parents enjoy writing strands. I have never personally used it, but I know it is well loved by many good cursive book. We are learning all the cursive in our homeschool. We have been and will continue to. Telling God's story. This is interesting. Okay, so this is Make a Shepherd. It's like a craft book, different projects. Interesting. Building securely. All of those daily books, Grammar Minutes, love those. Daily Reading Comprehension. Again, I love those bite-sized things. We've done Grammar Minutes before and I love that. It is important to me that my children be well-spoken and well-written. While I do firmly believe reading out loud to your children and having them read good and living books really is sufficient these things help. I also like sight word bingo. We have some of that. Again, just exposing them to those good things. But yeah, these little daily bite sized books can be really helpful just to drive that home. I think we're going to have to go look at the toys <laughs> because it's very important to my toddler that she looks at the toys right now. So we're going to go do that. Veggie Tales, all the $5 DVDs. Ooh, probably not today, my love. It's interesting, though. I love good audiobooks for those long car rides. We definitely have a lot of those around here. Um, Adventures in Odyssey. I, I don't have a, any of these on audio. Um, I would love to have the audio CDs though. All of the good little first readers. Superbook, always good to own. Corey Ten Boom, Light Tortures. This is probably awesome. More Superbook, all of the good DVDs. Big Truths. We don't have that one. It looks good. Puzzles. Love a good puzzle. Hmm. Wing Feather. I have heard fantastic things about this. I think I'm going to get the first one in the series. I've been meaning to. 
I want to get each of my children a good devotional for the new school year. I like for us to start our mornings out with that. I like them to have a little alone time with their devotional and then for our morning time we read the Bible together. Before we start anything, all of those good books I love, beautiful children's books. Said maybe, but I don't know. Tell me if you see a good book that you would recommend that perhaps I don't pick up on. I would love good book recommendations. I've heard Wing Feather is like the new Lord of the Rings. It's supposed to be so good. The Young Wit. I have not heard about these, but this looks very interesting. I love a good adventure story. All of those classics, Charlotte's Web, the Who Was books. You got to be careful with these. They can be a little non-factual <laughs> sometimes, but some of them are good. I'm going to get these. My children do learn a lot from some of these books. indescribable activity book. I love the kind of devotional book. We have that, but we do not have the activity book. This is interesting. I think this is the kind of thing that would be fun to make copies of for your children to keep their hands busy. All of the puzzles. All of the posters, you might have heard me say this before, but I am such a big believer in immersion. You put those posters on your walls, you put those Bible verses, you write the things on the walls, your children will casually pass it throughout the day and they will just soak it up. Children are sponges. So if you want them to know something like this A to Z scripture verses, which I am loving, put it on the wall, they'll pick it up. calendars, planning type things, more posters. There's a poster for everything. Games, I love all of the learning games. There's no better way to learn than through fun. All of the counters. Fractions, math books. Break it down, math. This looks like a reusable wipe it off book. Bubble board. Those look fun. Budgets and bargains books. Those sound like practical maths. Flashcards. Nothing beats a good flashcard. I used to have this when I was little and I found it very helpful. It's how I learned my times tables. A multiplication game, splat, that could be interesting. Another really important concept to drive home, sand timer. We need all the timers. Children will take all the time that you give them. <laughs> These are fun little counters, little manipulatives. Singapore math. If you like that traditional math, maybe this is the book for you. Level four, it says. $15. Science, ecosystem, cells, healthy habits. I like the fun things. <laughs> what is that? That is interesting. 
magnets. A lemon clock. If you have an engineer in your household, these are the kits for you. I know I do. Anatomy, stethoscope, all of the fun learning things. This is how I like to learn. I love to learn through play. What a great way to teach your child. Great gifts too. If you're doing that early Christmas shopping, this could be the section for you. Math minutes. We have done those as well. Geometry. The big clock to learn time. State studies. We live in Texas. Magnetic pads. Dominoes. We have one of these. A fun way to learn. Hot dots for little ones. Highlights. My um, first grader, my current first grader, has enjoyed using highlights to learn. They have really helped her. I'm so glad you like this. Yeah? I love this. This is fun. Grammar and punctuation, paragraph writing, story writing, another detective book. I am liking these. The tubes with all of the important documents. I think these kind of things are important to have. All of the good books. Kind and brave, good readers for your young child. A Becca. Master books, math. We have done all of that. World story. This is where we're at, and this is the one for this year. Those Middle Ages. We we just love this. Some people don't because they think it's too detailed, but we do it during our morning time. We take it section by section. It has all of the photos and diagrams and the stories. It is just so cohesive and I learn so much teaching my children with this. It's very interesting. We love this. And we have loved master books with little Charlie and Charlotte. Absolutely loved them. We have switched to teaching textbooks as a rule for now though. God's story. This is lovely. This is a baby. Is it? I have a cart full of stuff. I'm buying all the things. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't look at this one. It is wrapped tight, $25. How do I know if I want it if I can't see it? Art lessons, love that. I have a few little artists floating around my Mom, home. Mom, I'm just going to make it my Yeah? Oh, I love art. I took studio art in college. Geometry. Seeing, doing, understanding. Oh, I promised myself I'd never have to do algebra again, and here I am. Oh, so <laughs> I have to do it again. There it is. Oh, my. I have a child who wants to be an engineer and I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to do this. <laughs> Spelling, phonics language. I love these little Abeka books. They are, again, that very traditional school that you would be used to if you went to public school. Um, very straightforward, lesson by lesson, day by day. Yeah, I like that book. Yeah, I like that book too. Here, can, you, can you help me hold it for a second? Ooh, I'm gonna do this hand. That's easy. That's easy. That's easy. That's easy. Hi. You think it's easy? Yeah. Are you ready for second grade? Ow. Open. Hey, I'll do it. Okay. Show me. Ooh. You like that book? That's what I'm doing.
I always enjoy the Draw Right Now books. It's just a wonderful way to warm up in the morning. So your children may come and wake up a little and eat their breakfast. And then as you're clearing the table, you do one activity from this in the morning. I think it's just a good way to get rolling for the morning, to draw a little something, write a little something, and learn a fact. Okay, you look at this. This can be good for all ages. Copy cursive. I'm looking for some new cursive books for us. So let's look at this one. Scripture and poems, it says. Okay, so this is just a, a lot of copy work, which copy work, I'm a huge fan of copy work, but I don't know that we need a special book for it. Another cursive book. Rod and staff books, always beautiful. The handwriting books, again, I love these. We have done many of these, a reason for handwriting. And um, I highly recommend them. So again, learning all those fundamentals, they have print, they have cursive, you're copying scripture, and they go in A to Z steps. The Tuttle Twins is always a good series. This one is new to me, $15. Stem starters, always a fun way to start the day. So. Little Miss is over Mardell. She's gonna get a candy necklace for being good. Are you so happy now? Yay, I'm happy for you. Look at you, I keep it. Hobby Lobby is right next door, so we thought it would be appropriate if we came in to see what's new here and had some fun together. Maybe find some fun fall decor, who knows? <laughs> now we're at Dollar Tree to see what we can find while we wait for the others to finish a summer bash for the day. Okay, get one for Tessa and one for Alyssa. Two. I like this one, pink and You got two. See? We've picked up the other children. I picked up this strawberry basil flavored water that I'm excited about. Now we're at our home woods. Our stuff is already everywhere. We have a kitchen with a full fridge, which is great because we just went to Central Market to get some fun salads. There is a little fireplace and a couch bed here, a bedroom here and a bedroom and bathroom over here to fit our large family. Homewood by Hilton is one of our favorite hotels to stay at. And like I said, there are two of these bathrooms. They're the same. So you have the vanity area and then the toilet shower closet. Yeah. One of our favorite places, Homewoods by Hilton. We love it and it's great for a large family. Did you just lose your teeth, Pumpkin? Yep, it was the wiggliest one I had. The wiggliest one you had, show me. Yes. Ah. Okay. Did the tooth fairy bring you a chocolate coin? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. That is so you amazing. As soon as you open it, it's easy to back in. Wow. That is amazing. I can probably see that one day. Yay, that's so exciting, baby. Okay. Yay. Why did the tea fairy give me chocolate as my tea for falling out? Good question. Maybe she was impressed with how nice it was.
children are dropped off for day two of Summer Bash, so let's go to Costco and see what they have new for fall. I'm loving all of the fall clothing. $14.99. Vest, $13.99. All of the $10 throw pillows. Some curriculum if you need just a simple comprehensive curriculum for like a preschooler or kindergartner anything under that eight age eight or younger this is just fabulous we have used things like this for kindergarten and preschool and they are fantastic they are more than enough to get that kindergartner to where they should be or that preschooler little daily activities love the pretty books this is a puzzle book how fun is that we love all of the bluey stories i can't remember which ones we have and which ones we don't at this point but we have several minecraft stories these are fun deja vu from my childhood elisa frank <laughs> i loved elisa frank when i was a little girl these are interesting. Science and math as born STEM. This is very interesting. Again, I have that engineer in my family and um, I think this could be fun for him to do little daily activities. Technology and engineering, scribble book. Ooh, yes. <laughs> I love this. $11.99. Or eleven forty nine. This is very interesting. Again, if you have a child that's interested in this sort of thing, maybe this could be good for you. Minecraft ideas for Lego. Some of our favorite things. Sweet little girl dresses, butterflies, very pretty. Well priced. $20 crossbody bag. All of the stuffies, snackables. I know those are popular here. Princess dolls. Getting ready for Christmas. $16.99. Little squishmallows for the Christmas tree. Advent calendars. All of the toys. Lego sets. Loving that truck. That is awesome. Ooh, these are interesting. The big, nice kites. I like this. That is fun. The axe throwing. The big werewolf I want for my garden to scare away the things. <laughs> All of the costumes. Organic oatmeal. This is the one we buy. Pumpkin seeds to keep away those parasites. <laughs> Tortilla chips are always a must on my list. We love this for a simple lunch and the vermicelli. All of the jarred and canned food. This looks yummy. I might get this as a treat for myself. I love something dark chocolate with a cup of tea at night. I love this bowl set. Bluey. Reusable bags, $12.99. All of the back to school lunchbox type of things. Eleven, the Disney Pyrex, and Hello Kitty, seventeen ninety nine. How fun is that? Star Wars, Mandalorian, very cute. Pillow sale. Good prices. Bed sets. Well priced, $29.99. This would be good for my girls just to have something basic. T 
tea towels, lovely tea towels, $14.99, organic, love that. The blues are nice, and some grays. Candle set, $19.99. Smells all right. Baskets and organization, $12.99, that's not bad. Maybe for some pantry organization. All of the appliances. Air fryers. I need a new blender, but not today. I've just been using my food processor right now mostly. Our blender kind of died. Whole Foods. I'm not sure that I've ever been to a Whole Foods. There is not one anywhere near me, but I am really excited to check it out and see what's inside. You know if you've been with me for a hot minute that I am all about that good organic food. We try to eat whole food around here. Yay. Ancient green pasta. So many different things. I wish I had this closer to me. There's that same oatmeal that Costco had. All of the good coffee. Maybe I need some good coffee. Look at these flavors. How fun is that? Which one do I want? There are so many different protein bars. Which one is your favorite? I know they are not all created equal. This one is oatmeal and chocolate chip. Let's look at the ingredients. We want no seed oils. The protein bars. Okay, feel good girl. Okay. Oh, those aren't bad. Oh, you like those? All of the different jerkies, nice water. I went to nice water. <laughs> All of the proteins. Do you have a favorite protein? I am in the market for a good protein powder. Again, though, I'm looking for something with no soy, no seed oils, something clean. What do you recommend? I'm going to get a few of these samples and try them. This one looks good. No bad ingredients in it that I can tell. Interesting. It's probably good that I don't have one of these close to me because I would probably spend way too much money here. So, <laughs> all of the good for you shampoos and beauty products. A lot of good going on here. We've switched to those solid shampoo bars in my house to try to be a bit healthier. I want to make them myself. I have made a soap before that looks much like these lovely soaps. I can't bring myself to buy one because I know that I can make them. The That's the toothpaste the we use. That is a good toothpaste. I think the price might be better on Amazon for that though. Oh, 
the little frozen treats. It is the third and final day of Summer Bash and my Hadassah and I are off to have some more fun. I think we are headed to Kirkland's to see what fall things they have. A quick sneak peek at all of the fall fun at Kirkland's. I have so many fall shop with me's coming up and a fall decorate with me that I can't wait to share with you. But for now, guys, we're going to call it a day. Until next time, bye.